and welcome to Motors for the Masses. Uh, today we are in our home studio, which is my bedroom, because I let my dad have some permission to do it in my bedroom. Uh, so let's roll the intro and get cracking. Crack! So, what are we doing then, Patrick? Today we are testing my skills and I am guessing cars and motorbikes. And I am saying how I like the cars and how they look to me, if they look ugly, if they look good. Yes, so basically what I'm doing is I am trying to teach Patrick techniques in critiquing and reviewing. So, as you know, when it comes to cars and motorbikes and reviewing, there's lots of things involved. Not only is it about looks, but it is a factor, but it's also about how the vehicle handles, the features it has, how it rides or drives, um, what comes with it as far as uh, warranty is concerned and aftercare, um, lots of features of the inside and outside, etc., of the vehicle. But we're going to break it down into sections and part one is going to be the exciting one because today what I'm going to be doing is trying to get Patrick to unlock his inner design. And what I mean by that is I'm going to show him some new vehicles, uh, cars and bikes, and based on the looks, he's going to talk about how he feels about them and what they look like and whether he likes them or not and what it is he likes or doesn't like about them. So it's about analysing the looks of a vehicle. Yes? Yes. So, without any further ado, let's crack on. So we're going to start with motorbikes. Now, I'm going to have to wear my glasses for this because I'm getting old. Um, right, so now when you look at a bike, I don't necessarily mean that you're going to look at it and go, that's the bike I'm buying, end of. There's lots of factors involved in buying a motorbike. However, being humans, we always have that initial reaction of instant attraction or not. It's the same with um, the person we fancy. Like girlfriend, boyfriend, that kind of thing. The first thing you do when you look at a person is you decide instantly whether you like the look or not. And then you delve deeper into personality and feelings and the way they speak and the way they act and behave, etc, etc. The same goes with any object you like. The first thing you do when you first see it is you're instant. You can't help it. It's a human reaction. I like that. Or, oh no, that's ugly. That's your instant reaction. And then when you learn more about the features and you ride one and things like that, you may or may not change your mind depending how much you like or don't like the look. So this is what this is about really, your instant reaction to the looks of a vehicle and whether you like it or not and what you like or don't like about it. So the first bike we're gonna look at is the 2023 BMW M1000R. So here it comes, there. Now I'm going to be putting pictures up in the corner that, that one or, or that one, so you can see what we're looking at as well. So, what do you think of that? Your first reaction? It looks cool. Looks cool? Mm -hmm. Why? Because I like it going down, then back up, then straight up, then like kind of diagonal, then a little bit nearly straight, but diagonal. I like that kind of shape, and I like it when it goes like, that way then goes down that way and to the side that way then there's like a little thing going that way. I, I might have to help you along with this so to give you some <laughs> clues because that's a bit tricky to go you're like that way and then that way and then the angle about that. <laughs> that's a very seven year old reaction I think it's brilliant. Now first of all let's look at the front end. Um, the headlight. I personally I'm not a fan of the headlight. 
Um, what do you think of the headlight arrangement? Where is the headlight? Exactly, that bit there. Well, it's not really um, visible. Okay. I don't really like the shape of it, and it's a bit small. Okay, all right. Well, in comparison to the rest of the bike, it's a bit small, is it? Obviously. Okay, all right. What about these sort of side vents on here? What do you think of that bit there? That's the bit I like the most, because they look... To me, they look cool and... Yeah. Okay, they look cool and yeah. All right, is that a motorbike you think you would want to have? Kind of. It's a bit on the fence, isn't it? Why, what do you mean, kind of? Kind of, maybe, or not. Okay. <laughs> well, I like the um, the side profile. I, I, from what you're saying, I like the bit that goes that and then down, then up, and then that, and then that. Uh, what you basically mean is the, the way the tank flows down to the seat and up to the rear seat. I like that bit with the open trellis frame on the side there. I don't really like the under exhausts. Um, I'm never a fan of underbelly exhausts. It's just a bit... Uh, um, although that looks like just a box and then the main exhaust goes on the other side there, the other side of the tyre. So perhaps it has got a traditional exhaust. I like the carbon effects that it's got on it, carbon fibre effects on here. Well, That's I also nice. like the carbon fibre. Wait, do you like that bit? What bit? This bit. Um, well, that's where the number plate goes on the back, so it's it's okay. It's okay. That's where the number plate goes. Well, let's move on to the next one. Now, the next one is... Re can you read that one? 2014 Can... No, 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 2014. No, no, 2024 Can slash Am Origin. Yes, so the 2024 Can Am Origin. There. I think it looks stupid. Do you? <laughs> yes. I think it looks stupid. Now, this is an electric bike, okay? So it's an electric motorbike, um, so it's probably going to be very, very quick, but also probably very, very expensive. Put that aside, your initial thoughts. Now, this one on the left here is the uh, Supermoto version, and that's the Enduro sort of version. So what, what makes you think it looks stupid? The angle. Uh, that there, that is one bar, uh, this looks weird, and then the lights is just a box. The, lo the lights are spit square, is it? Yeah. Okay, it is very angular. You've got lots of stark lines and angles. Um, it is very futuristic looking. Yes? Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it is definitely weird. Yeah. Um, what I don't like is all this open at the top here. Look, you've got this big tablet while it's of it. That's going to be the screen, and then it's open. It's just stupid. Uh, well, maybe not the word I'd have used, but yes, it is a bit weird looking and a bit odd. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Now, the next one is also a Can Am. It's it's a twenty twenty four Can Am. P Wait, I can't read that. Sorry, is that my writing? Pulse. <laughs> now the Pulse and the Origin, I believe, are one of the same. So, yeah, the Pulse... Looks stupid. It looks stupid. It's the same. I don't really want to look at it again. Okay, all right. <laughs> Sorry, you definitely put up by that. Right, the next one. 2023... I can't read that. <laughs> that one? No, I can't read it. CF Moto. 800 Adven... Turo. Yes. Or Adventura. <sighs> don't slurp your tea. They don't like it. Okay. Although some do. Okay. There it is. What do you think of that? Oh, it looks awesome. Yeah? Okay. Why does it look awesome? It looks awesome because I like when it's like angling like that, going up, uh, different angles everywhere. I like when it goes that way, then straight up, then back that way. The back area, I, 
that's what I'm talking about. I like there is like four mirrors, uh, two of them's big and two of them are small, that's what okay. I like. Okay, I'm going to stop you there for a second. They're not mirrors, they're oh. hand guards. Like, you know my Triumph? Mm -hmm. I've got the hand guards on to stop the wind hitting your hands. That's what they are, yeah? You know when I hold the handlebars and I've got the big hand guards? Mm -hmm. that's, that's what they are, hand guards. And I also like the... I like the colour of it because I like because grey and orange uh, look good with each other, and I like the carbon fibre on over the wheels, and then the orange on the carbon fire fibre. Okay, that's a reflector. Yeah. Okay. Um, the wheels are gold, but yeah, they do look quite orange on that picture. Um, these. You've got these spotlights on here, you've got the main lights going on there, and then the spotlights either side. I think the spotlights on the bike look stupid. Do you? Yes. Why is that? They look weird. Okay, there it is from a different angle. Um, it's a big looking bike, isn't it? Now, do you think, out of my Triumph or the CF Moto 800 Aventura, which one do you think looks better? The 2023 CF Motor 800 Adventure. You like this one better? Yeah. Okay, all right, yeah. I can see that. It is a nice modern looking bike. It's very nice. It looks a bit of a monster, to be fair. But, uh, okay, now let's move on to the next one. What's the next one? 2023 Ducati Monster SP. What do you think of that? It looks good, but the name of it doesn't match with the bike. Explain. <laughs> can't, can't explain it. Yeah, no, 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 you made a very strong statement there. So the name, Ducati Monster SP, doesn't match with the bike. What do you mean by that? Why, what would you expect to see from a monster, Ducati Monster? For it to look ginormous and to have a bigger mirror. Okay. About the mirrors are out that big. Oh really? Yeah, so and the bike was about the floor up to the, up there. Okay, well... And I, I was thinking the seat to go out down there. Well, I, I understand what you're saying, but the word monster is a metaphor. Do you understand what I mean by that? Yes. Okay. Metaphor means it's called uh, something, but it doesn't look like it. Yes, I see what you're saying. So yes, it's not a direct, it's not supposed to, monster doesn't mean it's a big monster. It's meant in a different way. And the reason why it's called a monster is it's supposed to be a monstrous engine with lots of power. Yeah, like a monster, but not looking like a monster. Mm -hmm. So what do you like about the bike? I like the exhausts and the fork. Okay, all right, what do you like about the exhausts? Well, it's super long. Okay, and the forks? And they are also super long. So you like long forks and long exhausts. <laughs> Interesting. Um, okay, yeah, I mean, I like it, but to me, it's a bit... <sighs> Same as what they had done before. The Ducati Monster has looked like that for many years, and I suppose it's worked because, you know, people have bought them. But it's just a bit... <sighs> okay, done that. What else you got? Kind of thing. Well, let's move on to the next one. Next we've got... Um, 2023 Kawasaki KLR650S. Okay. Do you say it like 650? No. 650S. Nearly. 650. I don't care. Okay. So we've got a Kawasaki KLR650S. Now they've done a few of these different uh, 650s. But uh, we're not going to look at all of them. So, your initial reaction, what do you think of that? It's really long and it looks incredibly awesome. Really? Okay, well that's where we differ because I think it's ugly. I think it looks like it did in the 1980s. I suppose people like that kind of thing, just not, doesn't float my boat. This looks like the parrot's beak. What's that all about? The bit on the mudguard on the front. I think that's, I think that's the bit I most love. Really? Because yeah. it looks like a parrot. 
Yeah, and the, and the next thing I love, it's my favourite colour, green. I don't worry about the colour. I mean, look at this big slab on the side here. Look, it's like a big slab of plastic. Very low slung seat, very 80s and early 90s looking seat on that. Same with the exhaust arrangement. But I guess people do like that. I like it because I like 80s, the 80s and the 90s. Yeah, me too. But just that doesn't do it for me. Well, it does for me. Well, okay, fair enough. Let's move on to the next one. Now, the next one is also a Kawasaki, but this time... 20, 23 Kawasaki... Kawasaki? Kawasaki KLX 230. Very good. Well, the KLX 230 is obviously an off-road bike. Um, again, don't worry about the colour. First thoughts. I like the parrot beak. Okay. Again. Yeah. I like the tyres because they are like little bumps. They're knobbly, they're knobbly off-road tyres. Yeah, I like them. And I like... Pardon me. I like the carbon fibre. And I like it's it not when... not carbon fibre, it's just grey plastic. I like the grey plastic because it's reflecting. Okay, well, it's an off-road bike. Off-road bikes have looked like that for a very long time. Um, many bikes look like that. It's, it's okay. You know, if you like off-road bikes, I think you're going to like it. So let's move on to another one. Now next So the next one is also another Kawasaki, and it's the 2023 Kawasaki, Kawasaki <laughs> Ninja 650. Another 650. Yeah, Okay, so Kawasaki 650 Ninja, there. What do you think? I love it! Do you? Yeah, I think we, I saw this in in a racing place. In, your main in the motorbike racing place. So what do you like about it? That's a very big I love it, that is. It looks like you're a sports bike kind of person. Okay, what do you love about it? I love the shape of it, and I love... Uh, that is so big and it looks so heavy and there's not that much, it's not that much bouncy. Okay, yeah. The suspension will be stiff because it's a sports bike. I like the front end. There's like a shark nose on the front end. Oh, I also the way the like lines that. flow down the fairings with this shark front end. Like, it's like it's like a hawk ready to attack. That's what it looks like to me. Yeah. Shark nose with a hawk eyes ready to attack. Like this. Love that. However, that bit looks big in comparison to the rear end. It's almost like it's got a massive front end. Then when it gets to the end of the fairing, in the middle of the tank, you've got this short little back end. Which makes it look a bit weird to me. No, it doesn't to me, because it... Well, all sports bikes and racing bikes usually look like that. Ah, well, no they don't. Let's move on to another one. I said usually. Well, this one might change your mind. Oh, uh, the next one is a uh, 2023, I can't read that. Kawasaki Z650. Another Kawasaki? Yeah, I know. What do you think of that? Oh, awesome! Yeah, I like that as well. It's this front end is very bee-like, a bit like a wasp. <laughs> and it's like uh, a, a shark, a face, with another shark face on the bottom. <laughs> like a double shark face? Yeah, double shark face. <laughs> okay. um, the exhaust look a bit odd, the way they flow round and then again it's got that underbelly exhaust. I mean, we just know it's going to sound pointless. Because with that big exhaust underneath it's going to sound rubbish. But, you know, as far as the looks are concerned, yeah, it's got the looks down quite nicely. There's lots of little lines and sharp, stark lines and bits and angles all over it. I like that. I love angles on bikes. Lots of different angles and quirky, sharp lines. I love that about bikes. But yeah, I quite like that. All right, let's move on to the next one. 2023 KTM 450 SMR. Yes, KTM. M450 SMR. There you go. I also love it. I think this is the one you crashed on, isn't it? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> um, similar. 
Yeah, I mean, again, KTMs are quite similar. This is a Supermoto style tire. Um, so it's a Supermoto bike, not an Enduro bike, which is what I had. Uh, this one's got a two stroke engine because you can see the expansion chamber here. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a typical KTM off roady style, Supermoto y style bike. But you like it, yeah? Yeah. What do you like about it? I like it looks like the off road bike you had. Okay. Because I, I love that bike, but it's smashed to pieces. Well, not to pieces, little bits, and then I sold it. Why are you sell it? It's gone. That went a long time ago. It was awesome. Oh, never mind. I've got enough bikes. It's fine. No, you don't. Very, yes, very true. I think enough is about a hundred, nine million bikes. How many bikes have I got? Twelve. And how many do you think I should have? Uh... Realistically. 990. Realistically. Like about... 49. 49. No, 47. Oh, why 47? Because you love bikes. Yeah. And I love bikes. My favourite number is 22, perhaps I should have 22 bikes. No! Anyway. 47. <laughs> okay. Or one quadrillion, or 999 Okay, let's move on to the next one. So, um, sticking the next with KTM. The next one is a 2023 KTM 890 Adventure R. No, I think you're going to like this. <laughs> Do you like it? It looks so weird. Oh, okay. No, you don't like it. What don't you like about it then? That's interesting how you like the other things. It like looks weird, that's the only reason. Oh, okay. What's weird about it? It's the shape and the look of it. That's a bit too random. <laughs> what about the shape and the look don't you like? It looks Be stupid. more specific. It goes down, up, down, up, sideways. Be more specific. Which part of this don't you like? Because I think you're just saying that. I hate the plastic white, red and blue bit and black. So is it the colours you don't like? No. It's like, I, I don't like the, I don't like the white plastic, the, uh, this bit of the plastic. That's very similar to the other KTM. Mm, no, it's not. I don't mind it. But I don't like this headlight arrangement, this long headlight arrangement. KTM adventure type bikes have had that for a while, and it's not really, doesn't really do it for me. Um, I mean, it's okay, it's a KTM, so it's gonna perform very well. I like the, the belly pan look and how the engine is all enclosed in there. Quite like that. Um, the fork guards are good, uh, but again, you've got this, mud guard on here that looks like it belongs on a, um, a cheap off-road bike stuck to what looks like an expensive off-road adventure bike. Yeah. So that's the bit I don't like about it. It looks like you've got cheap stuck to expensiveness with a weird long headlight. I'm just hoping the next one's a car. No, we'll move on to cars in a minute. <laughs> So next is this, the 2023 Livewire S2 Del Mar. What do you think of that? I completely love it. Do you? It looks like a monstrosity <laughs> of a motorbike. Okay, but in a good way, yes? Mm -hmm. What do you like about it? Well, I like the shape, but the main thing is, it's like just a like ginormous slab on the front. Oh, this, this is where the battery is in here, and then the motor is behind it. So it's a big slab of battery. Um, I like the seat. I like the way the seat goes up. This is, everything about it looks, a, looks pretty cool, to be honest. Obviously, it doesn't need a petrol tank because there's no petrol. <laughs> um, so you've got this tiny little bit up here, which just makes it look bike-ish. But uh, yeah, I like that. I think that's a very attractive looking bike. Right, let's move on to... To the 2023... Suzuki V Strom 1050. Okay. You know, I think this one's a car, isn't it? No, it's not. I, okay. Okay, so Suzuki V Strom. There it is. What do you think? I think I love it because it, it looks exactly like our Triumph. 
It's oh. similar. Uh, I don't know. It's got this weird arrow shaped nose on the front here, which I don't really like. And our one's about squarey, and that one's circly. Yeah, it's got a weird square headlight. Um, it's tiny little. Uh, I don't know. I don't like it. I think it's ugly. Um, it looks old. Even though it's brand new, it looks like it was made in the 1990s. Yeah. They haven't really changed their shape, and I'm not really a fan of that. I don't know anybody who's owned a V-Strom, and I don't know many people that own or have owned a V-Strom. I know a lot of people that own Triumphs, I know a lot of people that own KTMs, and a lot of people that own BMW GSs, but not really Suzuki V-Stroms, and I think it's just because they're a bit, yeah, okay. Nothing special. Doesn't do it for me. Would you have one? Nah. No. Right, okay, let's move so on to the, the next one. 2023 Triumph Tayo 1200. Oh, really? Is it called the 1200? No. What 12. 12. It was zero. 1200, yes. <laughs> I don't care. The 1200. Or 1200. Right. Now, I've driven this. So, oh my god. Now, I've ridden this. So let's have a look at it. What do you think? I think it looks monstrosively cool, but not too cool. Monstrosively. I was just write that word down. Very good. Monstrosively cool, but not cool. Okay. I said not too cool. Do you like it better than my Triumph? Yes. Do you? Yes. That means my my isn't Triumph is not monstrosively not cool, but cool, not cool. I mean cool but not too cool. Okay, I don't like it. Oh, I do like it, but I don't. <laughs> how, how does that make sense? Because I'm basing it on the fact that I love my Triumph. <laughs> I love the way it's proportioned, I like the way it's set out, I love the way it rides, but obviously we're not talking about that at the moment. And this just looks okay. But it's taken my Triumph and made this weird nose on the front. And I, I don't know, I think I prefer the look of mine. I think I prefer the look of that one. Okay, well, we it's, can... I mean, it's got all the lines. It's got the stark lines and all the bit, all these bits. It's just, because I think I'm, I'm comparing it. I like it, but in comparison to mine, I don't, I prefer mine. Mine looks more proportioned. I like that one. Better. Because I don't like the boxes. Don't worry about the boxes, there's no boxes on it. On yours, there okay. are. I don't like the boxes. Right, let's move on to the last one. Now and saved. that one is the 2023 Vespa GTS, which is obviously not a car. No, it's not a car, you're right. Wait, is it? It's the cars on the... Yeah, the cars are on the other side. Right, okay, Vespa GTS, what do you think? Bosh. I think you've had a video of this car, haven't you? Yes. No, wait, I've watched a movie and this car, this bike, Vespa, is in it. What do you think of it? It's... I don't want to be mean to anybody that made the bike, but I really don't like it. No, fair enough. Um, you, I think you're either into scooters or you're into Vespas or you're not. Um, <laughs> Again, I see their place, I see their following, I see why they have their appeal. Not my cup of tea. And looking at it as an individual bike, it's just the same as all the others. However, there is a plus side and a negative side to that. One, it's like they haven't moved on, it's the same, it's just what it is. But the plus side of that is that's why people mm -hmm. like them. Because of what it looks like. That's why people like them. Now, Lambretta, which used to look similar to these, didn't do that. Lambretta <laughs> ruined themselves. What are you doing? Nothing, because you said cup of tea to it. I said what? You said when you were saying a sentence about it, you said cup of tea. Did I? <laughs> yeah, you did. When did I say, yeah, it's not my cup of tea? <laughs> I've heard that phrase before. <laughs> No, but it's hilarious. Okay, not my cup of tea. You've heard that many times. <laughs> no, I'm not. Yes, you have. Anyway, right. Yeah, 
Vespa, like Lambretta, have a specific design. Lambretta ruined themselves by going modern with it. Vespa has stuck with what they know and what they know sells. Doesn't mean I have to like it, but I see why. Right, so. The next one are going to be not motorbikes, they're going to be cars. Yes, now these are very different. So let's start with so the first So the one. first car is the Alfa Romeo Get a V. Guilia. Guilia EV. Yes, now the Alfa Romeo Guilia, like Quadra Valva, Quadrafolio, I like. But look at that. What do you think? I think I love it because I know this has been in the Top Gear video. No, not quite. Similar. Very similar. <laughs> I love it, and I absolutely love it. What do you like about it? Look well, at the car. Look I the love shape. the shape. I love that there's like a little triangle uh, going that way, then but down. The triangle grill, yeah. Yeah, and I like the lights are long I know. and uh, they're this shape and small. That's what I like. That's the best thing about it. Those lights. <laughs> those lights are insane. And I love the car because I. Uh, love electric because if you would look at the car it's electric I think you love electric cars who are you I thought you were my son what you like electric cars yes I apologize for this <laughs> what? what do you know you're seven anyway <laughs> The wheels are brilliant. I love the wheels. The lights, oh, there's something about those lights. I don't know if any of you remember the Alpha SZ. Weird looking piece of cheese from the 1980s. I think I an remember. Early, an early 90s, no you don't. Early 90s, but the lights are awesome and that is what they look like. That is gorgeous. As a family saloon car, I want one. The I thing, want one. The thing I hate is the I don't like the circle bits on the wheels. So oh, the, okay. next, right. the next well, car the is the wheels. 2020, or the last car was a 2023, and this car is a 2023, another Alfa Romeo sports car. Alfa Romeo. Romeo, and I think I oh, will love this car because I also love sports cars. Yeah, I... I think that looks like another car that yeah. I looked at a, a game. Yes. So when you look at that car, what's the first thing you think? It looks incredibly awesome. Yeah, but I mean, when you look at that car, does it look like something else? And what does it look like? It looks like a McLaren. It, yes, or a Ferrari. Yeah. yeah. Or it looks like Venom. There is a car called Venom. Venom. Yes, you're right. Very good. Yes. Um, it's very similar. I mean, it's okay. It's a it's a sports car, you know. It's a, like a hypercar type thing. It's all right. I mean, I'm not really a fan of Ferraris. I don't really like the four five eight shape. They're okay, but um, I just yeah. I mean, I like bulging arches, but it's just it looks like it's trying to be something it's not. It's trying to be a Ferrari, and it isn't a Ferrari. It's an Alfa Romeo, and for that reason, it's like come up with your own design. I hate it is, you know, that is n the thing where you put the petrol or diesel in is right next to the window. Yeah, terrible. <laughs> right, now this next one. I would love to hear your views on this because I know exactly how I feel about this next one. Alpine R5. Oh, no, 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 Alpine. Oh, I don't care. The 2025 <laughs> Alpine <laughs> R5. Not a fan then. <laughs> you don't like it? It looks so stupid and weird. weird. Oh, I love that. <laughs> I'm not a fan of these square lights on the front. The square lights on the front look weird. The, the concept of it, the shape of it, and the big wheels, and this wing on the back, it's a boy racer mobile that doesn't need extra chaving. 
the one thing I like about it, it looks like a car I've seen in Top Gear also again. It's the relaunch of the Renault 5 Gordini, basically. The Renault 5 Gordini, which is pictured here, hmm? is awesome. And that is the modern version of it, except it's Alpine, which is Renault, same thing. I love that. I really do like that. I don't like the square lights on the front and these big square things with the five in it. That's a bit weird. <laughs> what was it? I think but everything else, brilliant. brilliant. I, I think I know why they have five in it. Because it's an R5. Exactly that. Do you know what it reminds <laughs> me of? It reminds me of the Honda E. This reminds me of... This, this, if I always see this picture, this will always remind me of one video of Top Gear. One particular one. Oh, which one's that? So the next car... Which one? Oh, you just leave it hanging and The next it. car is the 2023 Aston Martin DBX Coupe. 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 And I why are there even cars of pictures in 2023, even though it's not even 2023 yet? Uh, mm, indeed. <laughs> I agree. Right, what do you think of that then? It looks incredibly awesome once again! Really? What, what, why? What, what about it? Because I love Aston Martins, if you didn't know. Okay, I mean the DBX, it's a bit... It looks like a Porsche Macan well, they're, they're diff SUV. They're, oh, this is a DBX But S. there's different looks of it. Where did the DBX... Oh, sorry, viewers. I know you're going to cut this out. No, I'm not. I'm going to leave that in. Um, okay, well, I don't know if I can get the right car up, so let's go on to the next one. Um, the next car is a BMW XM 2024. Right. No, it's a 2025, not a 2023. No, it's just 23. Let's carry on. There you go. There it is. What do you think? Sorry, I'm about reading. I love the off-road style. Right. And I like this bit because it looks like an exhaust but being bigger. You like that bit? Bigger size. I hate that. What? That looks stupid. The massive grill on the front there, look at it. Over the years, BMW's nostrils have got bigger and bigger and bigger, and that just looks ridiculous. Look at it. It's just like a, it looks like it hit a brick wall. <laughs> Slab at the front there. From from the without that front bit, from the lights backwards, looks okay. But again, it looks like every other SUV out there. But that massive front grille arrangement looks ridiculous, in my opinion. Not a fan of that. But you like that, do you like the big grills? Yeah, so shouldn't we move on to the next car? I totally which is agree. The Cupra Tavas Cupra S Cupra Tavascan. Tavascan. <laughs> oh, I don't care. Also <laughs> saying it again. Right, there. I think the viewers know what I'm gonna say. It looks Incredibly awesome for the third time. Okay, why? What do you like about it? I love the look of it. I love. I don't think you like the front of it with the ginormous circle, but I do. Um, you're exactly right. That big gopping mouth, <laughs> mammoth mouth. <laughs> I like the lines as they flow up the side here to that. This, again, the angular rear lights and the bulges in the bonnet and the scoops in the bonnet and the lights on the front, I love that. I this love the lights too. The mouth is just odd. I love the lights because they look like they're, they're not angry to super angry. Okay. So the next car is a, another Cooper, but it's a 2025. But you wrote, you wrote 2024. <laughs> And it's an Urb, a Cupra Urban Rebel, Rebez. Urban Rebel. I think the viewers are 
are going to know what I just, I'm going to say. Go on. It looks incredibly awesome for the fourth time. So again, what do you like about it? Oh, I love this style and I, I don't think you like don't worry about what the I, ginormous. I like. Just tell me what you like. The ginormous bottom bit. You love that? Yeah. No, again, I can't stand that. <laughs> Look at this, these massive air scoops on the side here. It's like a... <laughs> it's, I mean, again, I love the lines, the stark lines as they flow into the rear lights here and the boot spoiler as it flows and the, the front lights. Again, everything about it from the grille backwards is nice, but that front grille looks ridiculous. Not a fan at all. Sorry, looks stupid. <sighs> car is a Fiat Panda. Yeah, the 2023 Fiat Panda. I think the name there you sounds go. weird. I think you're going to know what I'm going to say once again. Just say it. It looks incredibly awesome for the fifth time. Again? Why? I like the ginormous bit on the front. You just like massive front ends, do you? And I love the shape they've made it. What, a big square? It's like Postman Pat's van. And I like when it goes straight, then diagonal up, then back straight, then down diagonal, then back straight. Where, where, where are you seeing that? Where? At the front. At the front. Again, slab, hit a brick wall. I like the lights. I don't like the little square lights on the front. I like the back end, the little lip at the back end, um, and the swage line above the door handles, how it goes all the way along the front. But the big, the side is just a big massive slab of nothingness. So they're making all these new cars, just big blocky slabs. So, let's move on to the next car, shouldn't we? Yeah, so the that. next yeah. car is an Honda Electric Sub, and I think I'm gonna love it, because I love electric cars. A Honda Electric Sub. SUV, do you mean, yeah? I don't care. I, I can call it whatever I want. Okay, what do you think of that? Well, I love the lights. Yes, I like the lights across the front there. Because it looks like it's a ginormous happy face. Okay, yeah. That's super long. And I like the bit when it goes straight and it looks like a crashed wall. <laughs> it's crashed into a wall. You like that? Yeah. You like the crashed into wall look? Yeah. Okay. I don't mind that. It's all right. It's, um, it's nicer than the, uh, the previous couple we've looked at. Certainly nicer than the Cupra front ends. Um, it's a bit bland from the side. There's not much going on. Although it's got these lips at the side here. They look all right. Uh, I quite like the wheels, nice the design on the wheels there. Um, the back end's a bit sort of Cooper or Coupe-ish, it's quite nice. Again, I love that strip of light across the front and that thin bit across the front there looks nice. Um, but yeah, and the little fins across the front grille, quite like that, yeah? Yeah. Right. So let's go to the next car, which is a Hyundai. Long, high and I. High and I. Long Equa 7. Ionic. Why does it look like an L? Shouldn't there it's be a I. dot? Sorry. Ionic 7. Alright. What do you think of that? I love it. Do you? Yeah. Because I love the square ginormous smash into the wall bit again. I'm on the fence about that. I mean, it's... Uh... And I like it super long and I like the windows going that way then super long. Yeah, I quite like that. Um, I, again, I like the, the strip light along the front. Also, I, I do. I'm not a fan of that slab. Again, a slab. I don't understand why they need to go all slabby with it. I don't understand like nearly every single car we've looked at has a slab. Yeah, exactly. So let's go on to the next car, it's, shouldn't we? It's a bit shapeless. So let's go on to the like that. Jeep Recon. The Jeep Recon. Oh, we're fine. 2024 Jeep Recon. There you go, what do you think of that? I love it. Why? Because I love there's uh, a 
a ginormous square light at the corners, but little ones in the middle. And I like it looks like an army car. And I like that uh, the the windows are super dark black. Don't worry about that. They won't be. Um, they won't be black. Oh. It's got a bit of Hummer look about it. That front end is very Hummer-esque, but like a small version of a Hummer. Um, it's quite utilitarian, quite butch. I don't mind that, especially in comparison to the Jeeps that we have seen around. It's, that's, that's quite a good take. I think they've, uh, they've moved the Jeep on quite nicely there. Um, Let's move to the next car, which is the Kaya Kia. Kia E V four. There we go, the Kia E V four. What do you think? Love it and again. Why? I love like there's lights at the side and the other side, but there's no lights in the middle. That's what I love. And I like at the bottom it looks like the slabs on the other cars that we've looked at. And I like the shape of it. Yeah, Again. it's not as big on the front end. Again, the lights look brilliant. I love this slim, long light arrangement that a lot of the manufacturers do. And again, these little blips in here at the back end, how it goes up to the roof there, that's nice. It's got some, some definition to the side of the doors, which I think is quite nice. That's not a bad looking car, that. I think they've done that really well. Yeah, I well think Well done, Kia. Too. That's quite a nice looking thing. So the next car is another Kia EV9. So it's really close to the last car. Oh, it's name. not the same though. I mean, look at that. What do you think of that? I love it because I know, I, I know to some people it looks weird. It looks like a car I've looked before. It looks but like something bigger. It looks like something that was left on the moon last week. <laughs> it looks very modern. But it looks like it belongs on the moon. It looks like a lunar project that they've just left behind. And I love the fact that there's ginormous lights that are like whoop. Yeah, I mean, again, it's like a big square block or rectangle block. I just imagine the designers of these cars these days don't take a lot of chiseling effort. and designing. It's, you know, an effort. Yeah, it's like they take a, a block of cheese and then they chisel away the front end. And then they cut the corner off the back end, and there you go, you've got your car. No, they just get a ginormous piece of cheese, then make it a shape. Or they probably, they probably get an enormous piece of cheese and a small mouse. And they say to the mouse, right, I want you to nibble a bit off this end, and then nibble a large chunk off that front end, and then we have our car. Thank you very much. Moving on. Right. Well, well, people wouldn't, wouldn't people just eat the cheese? Yes, very, very probably. And it wouldn't be able to move. No. Anyway, I quite like the idea of it. I like the bonnet. Again, I like the thin lights. Other than that, it's just a big slab of cheese with some bulges. Well, the next thing, I'm not surprised because it doesn't say what type of car it is. It just says a Mustang. <laughs> it's the 2023 Mustang. Uh, why are you write 2024 then? Because it's the same car. What do you think of that? I love it. I love it too. Again, look at those lights. Those front lights. Again, thin lights. Now... The thing I love is the smashed wall bit. That's not a smashed wall bit. No, you've got to move away from the smashed wall concept. I shouldn't have said that in the first place. What I like <laughs> about it is they've designed it to look like the saline from the 2015 version. Now, when the 2015 version came out, it was okay, didn't really do a massive amount for me. But the saline version looked epic with the sweeping down bonnet and the thin front end. And they've made this new Mustang look like the 2015 saline version. And here's a picture of it to prove it. Now look at that, that is epic. Again, you've got the massive bulging rear wheel arches, which is what I've always loved about Mustangs, bulging arches. Just what I like about the old 60s Camaros as well. That Top is gear. gorgeous. If they make that with a five litre, I'd be interested in getting one. You know? If it only comes out as an electric, I don't want it. If it only comes out as an EcoBoost, 
I don't want it. If it only comes out as a V6, I don't want it. That for me, with the looks, has to be a V8. And if it's not a V8, I'll even accept a V8 hybrid because at least you've got an engine there and the sound. I don't care. I, I don't care about anything. I, I care about the shape. I love the car. But the thing I most care about is it to sound like a V8. Exactly that. Honest. Weird. But yes, exactly that. Love it. Right, let's move on. We've only got a few left now. Um, yes, Top Gear. <laughs> right. So the next one is a VW ID.2 slash ID Life GTX. I think you're going to know what I'm going to say. I love it. It's got a personality about it. Those look like little eyes. The headlights look like little eyes. <laughs> Again, it's very Honda E-esque. Um, other than that, it's okay. It's like a slightly bigger Honda E. I quite like that. I do quite like that. No, no, no. The thing I love is the front of that picture. So this is the GTX, the ID Life GTX, which is pretty much the same. Um, it's okay. I mean, it's just like another massive slabbed SUV mini crossover type thing. Um, all right, let's move on. So, so, so the next now. car is a Toyota GR Co Roller. I think that's how yes, I you pronounce it. Toyota. Oh, I think it looks good. It's, again, it's another pre-chaved hot hatch, which I think looks really nice. The thing, the thing I love the most is the ginormous smash that the front brick. <sighs> okay, again, I like the thin lights. I love these bulging wheel arches. Um, with these wheels, it sets it off brilliantly. What do you think about the, um, the, the side profile and the... Oh, I think it looks absolutely cool. Okay. I would say. Yeah. It is cool. It is quite a cool car. Let's go on to the last one. Um, and the last is the... one is a Nissan Micra EV. If you've heard in the last cars or motorbikes, there, there are EVs. Micra EV. What EV stands for? Uh, EV stands for EV. Electric vehicle. Yeah, so. Okay, again, you've got another Honda E style looking car. What do you think of that? Go on, explain. <laughs> it looks weird. Why does it look weird? I'm sorry to the people that made this if they're watching, but it looks weird. Why? The thing I don't like the most is the lights. It's just a circle that's so thin. That's exactly what I don't like, the lights. They look like little... They've made it look very girly. It's a girl's looking car. Again, you've got this nice honda -y style back end, quite chunky, but then you've got these really weird little lights that, it's like when they made the Beetle, they put the vase in there, so they only made it for girls. That's what they've done with these lights. There's mm. like the tiny little round ring lights, make it look like... <laughs> and they made it a girly because girls like small cars. And these lights on here, with the way the black line goes through, makes it look like it's got eyeliner. Like the, with the eye line like, in the corner of the eyes. Like that. Like, like yeah. Egyptians had. There you go, yeah. And that's what it looks like. It looks like an eyelinered female, very effeminate Honda E. But to other people, the black looks like the eye opening a bit. Yeah, maybe. To some it's just, people. I think they've, they've genderfied it. I think they've girl girlified it. That's what I mean. They've genderfied it into a, just such a, just a girly looking car. And on that basis, it's a no from me. Yes, also a no for me. And that brings us to the end of this episode of Motors for the Masses. Thank you very much for joining us. Um, again, we've just been discussing and looking at cars and motorbikes. And uh, we'll be back again uh, soon with another video. We've got the, um, uh, the, the track enough. cars being sprayed. And then and we're going to put graphics on that. So that's going to be done. And what else have we got coming? And we also have a video... You don't know, do you? Because I haven't even told you. <laughs> <laughs> so. Wait, am I going to be in another video? Well, maybe. I hope so. So, until next time, please ride and drive carefully. And have fun. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.